Hi, fifth graders. Today we are going to just do a real quick review on perfect squares and square roots. If you look at number 19, we have 8 squared. When you look at the exponents, it's a 2. So all that really means is we have two 8s. It's like taking 8 times 8 and it equals 64. Next, we have 12 squared. And all you have to do is do 12 times 12 because 2 is in the exponent and you get 144. And then in 21, we have 11 squared. Simply again means that exponent means you have two of them. So you have 11 times 11, which equals 122. Now, whenever you have those perfect squares, it just means it's the number times itself again. Now, when we do the square roots, it's like kind of taking that backwards. When you look at number 22, we have the square root of 16. Now, in order to do this well, you need to know your multiplication facts. So you need to know in your head what number times itself equals 16. And that's 4. You know that 4 times 4 is 16. And then next, for 64, you need to know in your head, okay, what is that number times itself that equals 81? Excuse me, 64. And you have 8. 8 times 8 equals 64. And then lastly, we have the square root of 81. You're just taking that backwards. You're pulling it apart. You're looking for that number times itself that equals 81. And if we know our math facts, we know that 9 times 9 equals 81. So the square root of 81 is just 9. 